Hello guys! Um, since one of my previous shootings was underwater and I really love underwater photography and when I shoot in water I'm so happy but it is so exhausting and tiring but who cares, it's water. And I was using uh, on the last shooting a uh, fish tank. I own fish tank uh, from one of my previous shootings and I remember, since I don't use any equipment for underwater photography and I don't have and I don't own any mask for the camera, I remember that I can use the fish tank to shoot underwater. And that was a really great idea, but we had so little time for that, but I made the photos. And since many of you have been so surprising when I mentioned that I use fish tank for underwater, I really wanted to film a video for you where I will show you how to use fish tank for the underwater photography. And I'm so excited to uh, take you with me because this is my very first video. Sorry for my English, it isn't the best, but I'm trying, I'm learning and you will help me to speak perfect. So before you go, you need a model, a camera, fish tank, props, dress, and that's it, and a place where you can shoot. For today's shooting, I chose one beautiful place outside, uh, outside the Novi Sad. Um, I will film everything, and uh, this house has a pool, and I'm so excited! Okay, before you start, I must share some tips for you, because they are useful, trust me. Prepare! Because shooting in water and underwater is so challenging and it's so hard than usual. Ugh, you can't imagine how much. Bring one more person with you because it's easier when you shoot. He or she will hold the fish tank inside the water and everything will be much easier. Because uh, pressure in the water is so strong and you can do it by yourself. Explain the model what you want before the shoot because when she's in the water or he, he or she won't hear you. Tell what you want to create, which story, how uh, do you want uh, she or he to move in the water and what emotion you want uh, to achieve. Use a long and fluffy dress because in that case the effect in water will be so dreamy and fairy and magical. If you don't own any fluffy or big dress you can use fabric materials then they will float around the model. As you can see, we are carrying a fish tank with us and we will put it in a pool. And here at the beginning, I was using a black scarf as a background, but that was a very bad idea because that scarf isn't so big and the pool uh, is big and scarf is small. So that was a very <laughs> bad idea. But at the beginning, I started to shoot like that and Later on, I saw that the scarf is so small, and after that, I was continue to use regular blue color of the pool. At the beginning, I had a very hard time focusing and I tried manual mode, auto mode and everything and it was so bad, I didn't have any photo in focus and I was so sad, but I noticed that that was from the sunlight and we waited for when one hour to sun to go down and sunset. <laughs> After a few tries, I saw that one man isn't enough, so I bring one more man to help me. And that was a very great idea. Thanks God that man was there because two people, help of two people, oh, that is amazing. Thank you. 
Also, one more tip, try to explain a model to stay in one place when you're doing a shooting because when he or she is moving underwater, it is so hard to focus everything because you can see actually what you're doing and what you're focusing. And yeah, it takes so long to focus and <laughs> to prepare and to shoot and it takes a year to make at least one photo underwater. Here we changed another dress, the pink one. I thought that this dress is more fluffy and bigger than this than the previous one because previous one was so stuck into the body and it wasn't so fluffy underwater. And after a while I didn't have any light source and it was so dark underwater and I found a person who will hold the lightning above the model. This effect is so freaking amazing because when she is underwater, all the light goes on her face and the dress, um, it looks like the dress is shining and you can use any source of light you have. And here I was talking in Serbian and on my language because all of us are Serbian here, but uh, I was explaining her what pose to get and what story I want to achieve. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and learned something and I really want to see your fish tank photos because it is really exciting to shoot. Um, it is hard, but practice makes everything better. So uh, thank you so much for following me and supporting me and see you next time and in my next video. Bye!